Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a multiple video montage, or like sort of a spy montage or a travel montage. Basically, it's going to have a bunch of videos kind of combine, move across the screen at different times to create this cool effect where you're seeing just a bunch of different shots all at the same time. So let's just take a look at it right here. So yeah, there it is right there. As you can see, we have a bunch of different places where like, you know, we have two videos coming in, then one of them only switches, then the other one switches, then the whole thing switches back to one video, stuff like that. And you know, you can make this three, four videos, you could make this longer, shorter. If you put some like Western music behind this and slowed it down, it'd be a cool sort of road montage, just, you know, the landscapes going by. So yeah, really, really fun sort of montage transition how to you know get from one scene to the next and show the sort of the travel that goes in between it and a lot of times it'll be used in like some sort of uh i guess happier spy movies so you know like the funny the fun ones like bond and man from uncle and stuff like that where it just switches and it does these cool little transitions between things so then let's get started we're just going to go ahead and create ourselves a new compos or sequence we're not in after effects a new sequence and click OK, just because we're going to grab some footage and we're going to start this, just throw a piece of footage in there and then change the sequence settings to the piece of footage. So we have our piece of footage here. We're going to go unlink that audio so we don't have to keep hearing that. And then from here, we're going to grab another piece of footage that we want to transition to. So we're going to just grab this one right here. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this so we can see what's happening. So we have a 14-ish second clip right here. We're going to cut this one down just to kind of feel it out, maybe about there is where we want to do our first transition. Throw that in there, and we need to cut off a little bit of the front here. Um, otherwise, the when you try to apply the transition, it's just not going to work because it doesn't have enough frames to do it. So we're going to then go into our effects tab, and we can just um, go into video transitions, down to slide, and then the two that we're using here are slide and push. For this one, we're going to use slide. And what that's going to do is it's going to have this piece of footage slide over the existing piece of footage, and this one's going to say stationary. It isn't going to be pushed out of the way. So now that we have this slides in, and looking pretty good so far, um, except we want two pieces of footage in here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into this one. We are going to go into the opacity right here we're going to click this button and it's going to form us a mask and what the mask is doing is it's giving us a box of where we want the opacity to apply and cutting everything else else out of it so what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to throw them into the corners up here and then try to find about halfway into the, the video here and then so we're going to create this cut right down the middle And that looks pretty good right here. So unclick so you can see that. Yeah, that looks like a pretty solid line there. Um, we can go back into here. And you can kind of, you know, choose if you want this to be, you know, really feathered. So when we put the other one, if you want it to be that, or if we want to have like a sharp line in there. Um, and yeah, that's basically about it. If you want it to like extend farther down, you can use the mask expansion and that'll make it go down. If you do the mask retraction by going the other way, you're going to have a uh, clipping around the edges, but expansion should work. So we have this now. So let's then bring in our second piece of footage. And so we're going to go back into our projects here. Let's grab this piece right here. Throw that in. Unlink audio. Let's make that a little shorter there delete the audio throw this down here okay so then what we're going to need to do is we will need to create another um slide up on the top right here and so this is going to be where our second pieces of footage go if we're going to make you know have three we'll put the third one up here and just kind of have them jumping back and forth between each other and then so from here we're going to like so let's just cut this to where we want it to go that's fine with me so we're going to line it up here, and then we're going to go back into effects, grab the slide button again, and just apply it directly to this. And this actually came out perfect where they, they lined up beautifully. If, for example, though, you think that you want to speed this one up, 
then how you do this is you're just gonna slide this to here and you're gonna bring the slide down to here. That way they're always in line. Otherwise one will slide, so if like I brought this on it here, one will slide too fast and you'll get like this lag starting to happen. So you want them to be exactly the same. And then now, all we see is the top footage because the top one slides in and it takes over everything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the first one that we had and you know how we created that mask right here the mask over the top. So we're gonna go into opacity, we're gonna click the opacity right here. We're going to right click it and we're gonna hit copy. Then we're gonna to go to the top piece of footage, the new one that just got added. We're gonna to go to that opacity, we're gonna right click it and we're gonna hit paste. And you'll see that we've just pasted the exact mask onto this one that was on the other one. But we don't want the exact mask, what we want is the inversion of that mask. And so now what we have is we have a direct copy, but inverted to the bottom here. And now we're getting a couple funky things here. So the first one is because the feather, I forgot to turn the feather back down. So we can actually reduce the feather here and go into the bottom one and reduce the feather as well. And then we can adjust the mask here. So if we go to, um, mask path we're just going to have to clean it up we're going to bring need to bring these higher out so that the piece of footage isn't um the back one isn't getting in and so now we have this although i still don't think it looks the best because there isn't like a line going in between it and you can also see the top has a little bit longer of like space than the bottom one so we're going to go to that top piece of footage right here and actually this is the top piece of footage um, we could invert that if we, you know, wanted to. But so we're going to grab this piece of footage and we're going to go back into its mask and we're actually going to drag the mask up some. We're going to do the same over here. And now you see that we have that black line that gives it kind of a, a distinction between the two. So yeah, now we have the distinction. If you wanted to center this more, it's going to take a little bit, uh, some work. You're going to have to just basically take the piece of footage and so like this is the bottom one we're going to have to take the piece of footage and drag it down and then just adjust the mask up so you just hold, grab the whole mask bring it up and realign it for now though that takes not a hard process it just takes a little while you just have to grab all the points and redrag them up to make them fit correctly um we're just going to go past that so we have this starts off moves over now we have the first one so then let's create our slides so we're gonna find a point where we feel like, let's say the top one should switch out for something else. So we're gonna click on the, or let's go to the bottom one. Yeah, we'll go to the bottom one here. So we're gonna cut the top here. Um, and then you'll see that this one disappears. So let's go find some footage that we wanna slide in here. Let's grab this piece of footage right here. So we're gonna throw that in there. And then now instead of using slide, we're actually gonna go over here and we're gonna use push. And what we need to do is cut off some of the frames here so that when we apply push, it can actually apply over the whole thing. We don't want it this long. We'll bring it down to like that. And then you'll see that the problem is, is it's pushing out everything and then it just doesn't affect it. It's just taking it over, which is actually kind of a cool thing you could do. If you wanted to switch back to one, um, only apply a push to this one and let it take over this one. So you have like a push and a slide going at the same time. Looks kind of cool. A lot of movement on the screen really interesting but this isn't what we wanted to achieve so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into here do the exact same thing where we copy the opacity from this one we're going to go to this one and we're going to paste the opacity of it and now you'll see that we have the exact path on each one of these so when it pushes through it's using the exact same path and it's keeping the only the bottom video switching out just like so and then we can do the exact same thing to the bottom one. So go a little bit farther, cut this one down, break it off, and then grab the water here. Did I start with the water? I did start with the water. Okay, whatever. We're just going to go back to the water. Um, so we're going to go into the effects and we'll do another push right here. We need to cut some frames off the front end, throw it in there, go to push shrink that down a little and now we have the top one moving and you'll see that the black disappears because we again don't have the mask copied over so right click copy go to this one right click paste and we have the black line back then we can let these play for a little while and then we can throw in 
just another piece of footage. So we can go here, here, cut it out. And I like going with the bus scene right here. I think it goes into a nice transition. So we're gonna put the bus scene here, unlink it, and then we're going to push it again. But again, I need to cut some of the first part of the frame off here. Go into push, throw that over, shrink it down a little bit. And so now we have this push going on here. But the thing is, you'll see that we're only pushing out one of them again. So how do we push out both of them? Well, to do that, we can actually just do this. We can shorten this one, click on this, and then hold Alt, click, drag down. It's going to create an exact duplicate of the top one. Then we are going to grab push again, throw it on here, zoom in a tad, and then we're going to align these pushes so that they're exactly the same length on each side. And now you see that they both move at the same time for the push. And so then we do this transition back to the first one. So, so far, all we have left now is that diagonal one that I did before. And that one is just the exact same, except for the diagonal one, what we're going to do is we're going to take um, another piece of footage. We'll go with, uh, we'll go with, we'll go with, let's go with this one. So we'll throw this one in here. That's green because I've already used it. Um, so we throw this one in here, unlink it. Oh, my bad. This is the sequence. <laughs> That's why it's green. Um, so yeah, let's just grab this one. We'll throw it in here. And how I did that is I just actually copied this one. So you right click on the, the opacity from this one, go to the new one. And then we go and we're going to go into the new one, paste it right there. Paste it right there. All righty. Oh, my bad, my bad. We had to go back to the one with the actual mask on it. So copy, go to this one, opacity, paste. And so now we have a mask. And what we can do from here is we can click on the mask and we can just drag to the diagonals instead. So, you know, drag down to the bottom left, take this one, drag it up to the top right, and then do the exact same thing here is, you know, um, shorten this and throw a push on here. And so we have this sort of, this half one coming in. We have the bottom one coming into the, the down there. And what we can actually do here is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna invert this mask again because we want this in the top left. And then we're gonna take another piece of footage. Let's just grab a quick one here. We're gonna grab the bus scene again. Unlink. Um, yeah, okay, and then we're gonna take this, we're gonna shrink this down. And then since we've already created the other half, we take the opacity, copy it again, move into the new one, paste it over, undo the or redo the inversion, and then go into effects, grab push, and throw it on here. Make sure they're the same length. I do not have enough cut off of one of these. That's why the lengths are weird. So we're going to cut off a little bit of the back, cut off a little bit of the front here, bring them both together, drop on push. There we go. Actually, that's weird. Anyway, we're just going to go with it. Um, so now you see that they, they transition over. And what I did for this push was I just did a reverse here so that it kind of does that little closing thing. And then we just need to go to the top one and adjust this mask as well. Bring it in a little bit so that we can, oh man. If you wanna get a better view, you can do the 25% here um, to give you a little bit better of a view. And then you have to grab these. Now, <laughs> Premiere isn't the best with all this stuff. Uh, After Effects is where you can do this a whole lot easier. But if you're working with Premiere, you can have some fun with this stuff. Um, if you don't know how to work After Effects, this is you know perfectly fine to use this to do it all. So then now we have this effect where it does the whole one goes out, one goes in, one comes in the bottom, sort of switch around like that. Yep, and so that is how you do it. And then all I did was just throw some music on the bottom and let it play. And now you have a, a really neat technique that you can fully customize to have a bunch of videos transition in an interesting way to show a story or some traveling happening or just add some fun sort of variety to your video. 
Thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. Uh, I hope it was, wasn't too complicated. All we did was just drop a couple transitions in here. Um, that's really what like a lot of Premiere stuff is, is just figuring out how to throw different tools together in different ways. It's just really just the name of the game. It's just figuring out how you can recreate something in here just from your mind. Uh, how you can get something from your mind onto a video here. Anyway, thanks everyone for joining me for this tutorial. If you want to see more Adobe Learning related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you got any questions on this video, or you got any comments or future suggestions for tutorials, throw those in the comments below. And until next time, guys, see ya.